Hi guys, I am going to perform an experiment that I think will be beneficial for, for all of us. Um, and the experiment is, um, you know, trying to get that GKI, that glucose ketone index indicator down low enough that, you know, we can actually uh, be in range throughout this new year. Let me put my little fancy suction cup thing up here and then put you guys in here so I can do a little something with the car here that I have to do. There we go, okay. So the whole idea I'm thinking, the reason I think this may work is because I have found that um, I know we're supposed to be working in this clinical ketogenic diet and the protocol that I use on a carbo, uh, carbohydrate restricted and also calorie restricted diet, which means we shouldn't be eating a lot of carbs, right? Yes. And um, we shouldn't be eating too many calories because uh, the whole idea behind the research in cancer is when they gave the mice fewer things to eat, the mice would have fewer cancer cells and the tumor growth was, was uh, limited. And gosh, that's what we want, right? So I'm thinking, is there a way that we can do this and stay within bounds? And I've found, here's what I've found just in my own research. This may not work, but we're gonna give it a whirl here. And this is just the video explaining what I'm gonna do. So tomorrow I hope to have put together a complete video that will show you, you know, more of how to do it and how it may affect your GKI because I know a lot of you go gosh how do you keep your your body in in ketosis you know when you're going through this thing especially if you're ingesting chemo you know toxins for chemotherapy it's rough right it is rough I know it is I'm turning a car around here because I want to back it into the garage for, for what I want to do um got to charge it up so the whole here's the whole idea right we eat our good meal and I'm thinking through the little research I've done with Walter Longo's fasting mimicking and also his longevity diet is that he suggests that you should eat breakfast, right? I know a lot of you have been thinking that breakfast can be skipped. I'll do my one meal a day later or do two meals a day, but what happens is that puts the meal back into the day part that we don't want it at. So what I wanna to try to do is to stop all feeding at around 3 p.m. and then just let my gut relax, you know? So at nighttime, I can have all of that body healing going on and not digesting, see? And the other thing I've noticed is when I eat late, late at night, like you get the hankering for something to eat, right? And you do some kind of a little snack and then you just keep going, that always blows me out of ketosis every single time. So I, I think there's something to, I don't wanna crash in any walls here, especially on camera. <laughs> um, I think that when you do give your body a break and give it a chance to do what it can do, sorry for the beeping, the chimes, they're preventing the car from smashing into the back wall of the garage here. That's it? Yeah. So, let me get this on here. And I found that when I do stop eating around 3 p.m., even though I've ingested quite a bit of food, maybe I've gone a little bit over my protein macro or my, my uh, carb macro a little bit somehow, um, I find that 
by morning time, if everything goes right, I'm going to be in ketosis according to the G. I'm going to be in my GKI index, you know, where I want to be like three and below. And that looks good. Yeah, I got my car in the garage. And now I can successfully close the door without slamming it down on the hood of the car. So that's what we're going to do, okay? That's what I'm going to do. And I'll report back as a finding and show you the GKI numbers. And it um, should be very good. So I'm excited about this. Um, starting actually starting today because I've already had my full meal for the day today. Uh, it's not near three o'clock yet, but that's when I would stop. And then from then on, I would just get up in the morning, have a cup of coffee maybe, and then do my uh, GKI measurement before, you know, a fasted state before I had my breakfast, and then do the same thing again. And then let's see how many days it takes to get into ketosis. This is something I want to be beneficial for you too, if it works. And then maybe one of you can try the same thing and show, you know, tell me if it works, you know, see if it works for, for the rest of us here, okay? So people have been asking me, you know, how do I stay in ketosis? What's a good way to get into ketosis? And I think this will work because it works on several different things. And one of the big, biggest of them being stopping eating early in the day. So it allows your gut to catch up with the rest of you. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. And thanks for the support.